my God. Could she be more guilty of what they are about to print about her? Let's talk Kim Mulkey for a second. She is pissed off because there's a hit piece out and she's not going to stand for it. The Washington Post has called former disgruntled players mm -hmm. to get negative quotes to include in their story. That's nothing new, by the way. That what the Washington Post is doing, journalists have been doing for years. Here's what I want you to understand. If people are writing an article about a coach or a person who has done some awful shit, then what they'll do is they'll call a former player and say, hey, do you want to go on record about your head coach doing a bunch of awful shit? Next part. They're ignoring the 40 plus years of positive stories. Oh, that's the worst part of this. That's the worst. That's the most telling part of this whole thing. That's how you know what is about to be printed is based on the truth or based in fact, or is at least in some way rooted in the truth because she doesn't deny it. She doesn't say that whatever is about to come out is blatantly false. What she says is, never mind all the good things I've done, they're about to tell you about one of the bad ones. She's done one of those things that we all do when you get in trouble. I've messed up one time. What about all the times I did good? Do I not get credit for that? That's exactly what she just said. But you see reporters who give a megaphone to a one-sided embellished version of things aren't trying to tell the truth. I think what it is, is they're not telling the truth you want them to tell, Kim. I believe that's probably- They're trying to sell newspapers and feed the click machine. Oh, that's my favorite. That's my second favorite part. That's my second favorite part. She has spent this entire time. Now, this clip is two minutes long, but there's more to it. And she's talking about feeding the click machine. I cannot believe they are feeding the click machine with this gobbledygook. They've got all of this nonsense and tomfooleries and spewing garbage and nonsense and it's all hot ass. Let's be real. I would not have given a single absolute shit about this story had she not sat here and talked about this honest to god this would have been a a a flick of a finger don't give a shit whatever but you sat down and caused all this and now i want to know now i've got to throw some clicks in the click machine you've made it worse kim you've made it so much worse what you should have done is sat on your hands. You should have just sent them a letter and said, just need you to know I've hired this team and you print anything that is false. I will sue you for slander, defamation of character and everything else. So you better make sure your shit, you've, you've crossed all your I's and dotted all your T's. I mean, that's... That's what you do, but you don't come out in this way and make yourself look so guilty before it drops. And now everyone wants to know what it, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Like you've just fed the click machine, the very thing that you're pissed off about. This is exactly why people don't trust journalists and the media anymore. It's these kinds of sleazy news. tactics. You are fed and news. hatchet jobs that people are just hatchet tired jobs. of. I'm fed up. And I'm Bet not going to let the Washington Post attack this university, mm. this awesome team of young women I have, or me without a fight. I've hired the best defamation law firm in the country. Good for you. Good and for I will you. sue the Washington Post if they publish a false story about yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Not many people are in a position to hold yep. these kind of journalists accountable. Yeah. But I am. Yeah. And Good. I'll do it. Good. That's all I'm going to say about this right now. Yeah. And now I'm going to get back to talking about my basketball team. Yeah. And winning this game tomorrow. Hell yeah, you are. 
Hell yeah, you are guilty as shit. Oh my God. Could she be more guilty of what they are about to print about her? That is all this is. She is just getting out in front of it like, hey, y'all are about to hear some shit and I am not happy about it. That is all this is. She is literally pissed off because everything that is about to come out is true. That whole, I've got the best defamation lawyers in the world of the world, Craig. That was a, that was a threat. Because if you notice, if they say anything that's not true, that was just a shot across the bow. You better make sure that everything you print is true or that you have proof to back it up. That's all that was because I don't want all this stuff coming out that you have, all this dirt on me that you have. I don't want it coming out because it's going to embarrass me. It's going to ruin my reputation. It's going to ruin this program and it's going to make me look bad and I'm pissed off that you have it and I don't like it. That's what that speech was.